Well, how's everyone been? Hope you've been well. I know it's been a while since I've uh, posted a video. Just had a little bit of a medical issue going on with my elbow. I've got some stupid infection going on. But uh, just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys I'm not going nowhere. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to upload a video. I appreciate all you uh, subscribers. But let's talk about, seeing how I have a medical condition right now going on, an infection. Um, learn uh, how to make antibiotics. Learn that fish antibiotics is okay to take. Um, there are several videos on YouTube on how to make your own antibiotics. Um, these are some of the things you need to be uh, uh, capable of doing yourself in case uh, a doctor is unavailable. But what I want to talk tonight about is situational awareness. Because nowadays we are seeing more and more um, violence happening in the streets, in our country, in the world, all around us. So situational awareness is extremely important to have people. Now I'm, on, I'm not a fan of uh, big crowds even though I've been... Too many, many of them doing all the rallies that I've done. But situational awareness in larger crowds is harder for your brain to process than it is in smaller, more controlled environments. Now, luckily for me, when I attend these rallies, I'm surrounded by usually no less than six, seven guys who are... Uh, pretty good at situational awareness themselves but people right now you better pay attention to your surroundings every single day pay attention at your grocery store pay attention if you go to the mall pay attention if you go to a concert a movie theater anything any place you go be aware that there might be a predator lurking Looking for a soft target. Now we all know human trafficking is real. So let's say um, a single mom and a kid. You're a soft target. Or let's say uh, there's so many different scenarios. Somebody just sees an opportunity to rob you. Uh, sees you cashing out and sees you have a bunch of money or something in your wallet and decides to follow you home or follow you to your next stop or whatever it is. It's all about situational awareness, people. Today, we are living in a time of good versus evil. Now, I'm a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person. But you better... Be aware of your surroundings at all time. I cannot stress that enough. Always be prepared and always have an exit strategy, especially if you are at these large venues where there is really no control if pandemonium and total chaos breaks out. That's when your instincts are going to kick in, and that's when... Uh, you better hope that your survival skills and your mindset come into play and it's all muscle memory and uh, self-preservation kicks in. What got me thinking about this self-preservation and situational awareness was what happened at this whatever Astro World concert with that rapper or whatever. Um, I don't know the whole story on it, but... People getting trampled to death, that's not situational awareness. People weren't aware of their what was going on. Well, maybe they were and they just wasn't able to get help. So maybe don't put yourself in that situation if, if you can help it. But yes, people, nowadays you better be aware and be very frosty. Because there is predators out there looking for soft targets. Looking for people to take advantage of. To do bad things to other people. Our southern border 
is an absolute wide open free for all for who knows what type of people coming in. And those are the type of people that will take advantage of soft targets. People that don't even belong in our country in the first place. Now this is a crazy heathen saying, uh, appreciate all your guys' support. Please, uh, help me get some more subscribers so I can go live. That's my main goal here on YouTube. I'm better at answering questions than making videos, uh, just off thought. I hope you all have a good night.